So welcome to my home. Well, I don't have home. I'm homeless because the world is my home. And this is the last days that I'm in this location. Did a lot of work. March, April, all the eclipses. Uh, and now June celebrated here my solar return and to the solar eclipse, to the sun solstice on this week. Time to move on. And I just welcome you here to my home, as it's nothing, is not my home, but my energy is here. And I just want to bring here uh, some more of authentic color and to share with you something that I think very worth to share and to explain everyone how astrology work uh, in 2022. I launched my Astro Finance course where I decided to share what I'm actually doing, the live charts, how I'm predicting markets ahead and teaching the astrology for finance. And I expected that more people would join than what expected. But, you know, even my channel, my channel is not big, but I'm, thanks God, I'm happy with the amount, exactly the amount and the people that pass through and more will come. I just have always a feel that all the world should know. Uh, but at the same time, it's protecting me because I don't want to be famous. I enjoy a lot from my anonymity, uh, being private. And I don't like to get so many messages. So in 2022, I started recording the module one, two, three, and uh, toward the end of 2022, I, I finished with module four and five, which I already sent to all my uh, members the notification that I suspended module four and five and other reasons. You could read it in the website. And in module two, I already was in Colombia. Uh, the entire course was recorded from different places as I'm a nomadic uh, lifestyle. And I was in Medellin, Colombia in August 2022. You know, st some places still needed vaccination to travel. Still, it was this uh, before I moved to Brazil and recorded Module 3. And yeah, it was something. Anyhow, I want to bring you a, a, a complete class that I recorded in August 2022 in a class that I explained people, the students, about the eclipses and gave example to what is going to happen in 2024. I'm a remote viewer or call it what you want. I'm just seeing ahead, understanding the interpretation of the astrology and also doing it for the market. What I'm sharing and what I shared was like weird, you know, people don't want to believe well, it's one, what sort of war, what sort of conflict. Now listen, we already passed two eclipses in Libra and Aries. This is the last one that is coming before the election in the US. And if you want to know what the next eclipse is to bring, you will find my content in other places. But I just want you to listen to entire class that I recorded in Medellin, Colombia. And what I said, just by looking on eclipses, no need to open the natal chart of Israel, no need to open the natal chart of United States or others. I can give more, more details when I'm combining all of this. Just on the eclipses. And you will decide and see how you transformed your life because this is the great divorce timing. I told you, you need to reinvent yourself. The opposite of Aries is Libra, that you depend on other. You don't know who you are without the other. And those are many divorces that are happening and still in process. So I hope that you are all going to start a very good sun solstice, a summer if you are in the north side and a winter if you are with me in the Southern America, even that. The winter can be very mild in the places I'm here. And have a look to the entire video if you want to start with the course, module one, two, and three, where you get the foundation of the course, of, the, of, of how I'm just looking on the environment, when to expect bullish market, bearish market, not just the full moon, new moon. You know, so many speculations, so much shit coins, but so many huge 
shit to bears, I will call it. I'm, I'm, I'm listening and I cannot sometimes I'll say, oh my goodness, there's some people that actually should, you know, they have, they have experience, but so much conspiracy. They are planning this. They are doing it on it. Uh, everything is planned. Everything is on us, you know. Yeah, we can always look on the window from two sides and to say, uh, what, look from here and look from there. Everything up is planned. Even your birth, your, your natal chart is planned. And when you learn about your natal chart, you understand what's the plan, the program that you actually under. So understanding the astrology is giving us a, such awareness, such responsibility. Stop blaming. They are doing climate change. They are doing... Yeah, maybe some conspiracies that you are holding, you're right. But take responsibility on your life and on the and accept universe. Understand astrology is taking you to the era of Aquarius where each one, each individual is independent for himself. You don't need a bank to protect your money. You need to protect yourself and you need to surround yourself with the right atmosphere you need to educate yourself because it's all about knowledge and astrology giving it to us and i'm here as a messenger to connect us with astrology and not just what is leo what is cancer but the real language of sky let's begin and let's see the class i recorded from medellin colombia in august 2022 in the pandemic days toward this year what to happen just as an example and you want to listen to the next eclipse session that will start from this fall. Let's take another example. What will happen in 2024? When even 2023, the end of 20, the North Node will be in Aries. The South Node is going to be in Libra. What is Libra? Speaking about diplomatic relationship, agreement, and consideration and status quo. What Aries rules? Aries ruled by Mars. And Aries is related to attack, wars, attack, aggression, identity in Aries you are remembering your identity in Libra you are mixing and corresponding with the identity of the other you become family Zach I don't know instead of yourself being what you are you suddenly identify with something that is mixed so it feels that is going to be a lot of debates in the collective that will remind us uh, to find new agreement between uh, neighbor countries and allies. And at the same time, it will be an invitation to redefine and protect our identity, even as for countries and even for ourselves. Every sort of contract that puts you in a sort of equal ego, you are right now, you declare that all the paperwork that you need to declare and to put yourself underdog of a system, will be a negative side that will create loss. What will be needed in Aries is to fight to free yourself and to identify yourself with something that you will choose and you will define. And it also may provoke wars in the world um, that is already happening and aggression is happening. But it will be a lot of <laughs> a lot of Libra is speaking about peace, but this is no time for peace. It's not past, you know, okay, give me the job or okay, take, I don't want to fight. We will here need to fight. And even for your human rights, you will need to fight. You will need to be men, even if you are women. You will need to use your power to protect your identity, what you want and what you deserve. So when we can expect such events that will be markable, because Aries is the sign that happening in April, we may expect 
April, when the sun will be here, and when the moon will meet it, it's going to be a new moon in Aries, solar eclipse, Aries, that is a new moon in Aries. And this will be a time to seed your new identity, your new direction, and starting a new phase of your personal life. It also will be an invitation to divorce from whatever relationship, romantic or business-wise, that was that is abusing by its regulation. Different agreements, how the world is orchestrated right now with the law system. Because Libra is also speaking about the justice. Justice is going to be a crush of the justice. No equilibrium. You will need to fight and protect yourself. And it will be a rise of a lot of armies and um, military activity in different areas. So, it also could be a positive thing about how you are uh, creating your life and um, initiating what has to see with your rights to be free and protected men. This is also can create a lot of revolts. It's like the dams are falling, a lot of revolts against the status quo with government. So Two weeks after, it's going to be a full moon in Libra, because the moon will be in Libra, on the ecliptic, on the ecliptic axis, and it will be a lunar eclipse in Libra. So around those times of the lunar eclipse, we may see a big crash or event that is related to justice, that is related to agreement. And this is how it works. So usually the, the vo volatility in the volatility around eclipses very high, very high and even generally speaking, without importance now, what ecliptic area? When the sun and the moon, and this is going to be a cover of the sun and all cover of the moon, these are the time that one month prior to this, very high volatility and creating usually fears. Fear. Uncertainty. Because people are taking change of destiny. The axis, the, the ecliptic axis, the nodal axis, as we are seeing the north and the south node, are destiny path. And it's related to modification and transformation of what we should let go and what we should go into. Because the north node is always going to the unknown. In the next section, I'm going to speak about the archetype of each full moon and each new moon. In other words, about the archetype of each month.